Welcome to another episode of Airgun Detectives. I'm your host, JC, and today we're going to take the mystery out of the Benjamin Murata semi-auto. Yes, semi-auto. I've been waiting to try this one. I finally got my hands on one. So anyway, but before we get started on that, do me a favor if you hadn't already, hit that subscribe button down there in the corner. It doesn't cost anything. It's absolutely free, but it really helps support the channel, and I would greatly appreciate that. Also, check out my website, www.airgundetectives.com. On that site, I've got my Generation 2 bipods, i got some hats, t-shirts, I also have a bunch of inventory I put on there, and I have a very limited run of some silhouette targets. They're pretty cool little targets. Uh, my engineer buddies put those together to, uh, for me, but we only had a limited number, so they're on there. When they're gone, they're gone. But check them out. It shows you the comparison with ours and others, so check that out. All right, let's get back to the subject on hand, our Benjamin Murata. I've been really wanting to try out this rifle because I was just kind of curious how the semi-auto uh, would work on this. But let's talk about it. As again, I said, this is a semi-automatic PCP rifle. It has a 215 cc tank on it, and it's a fill level to 3,000 psi. I like the fill level to 3,000 psi. Uh, it comes with a 10 round magazine. It's got their uh, two stage uh, Murata trigger. It's got this nice heavy duty uh, synthetic stock, which has um, both a sling mount in the back and the front. In the front, as you can see, I attached a bipod to that, which uh, gives you the perfect opportunity to do that. So you got the sling mounts on the front and the back, so it'd be good if you want to take it hunting or what have you. It's got the Picatinny rail set up here for your optics. Um, the overall gun is 43 inches long. It weighs just under eight pounds. It's 7.8 pounds. It's got a 20 inch barrel on it. And if you'll notice, it's kind of got a free floating type barrel. See the barrel band on here? It actually does not touch the front barrel. And that's good for harmonics and things like that. You know how that goes. So I'm pretty excited to um, um, try this. This also has an AR style um, ambidextrous charging handle. So that makes it simple for you, whether you're right or left handed. And it does have uh, a butt stock that has the uh, cheek adjustment on the elevation. So you can adjust that which is pretty cool. Now, oh, and which we also like, it's got the built-in foster fitting right here. So no probe, it's got the foster fitting. What well, works out great. Um, also, in fact, I gave a little short video on this at one point. I have this new GX pump, and I actually purchased this, check this out. I purchased this on Amazon, and I got it for under 300 bucks. I wanted a small, compact pump, and I figured, hey, if it doesn't work out, I'll send it back and say, you know, obviously there's something wrong with it. But to be honest with you, so far so good. And we'll talk more about that at the end. But this is a nice compact pump. It's ACDC, so you can use it in the field. And I wanted something light that I could take out in the field rather than um, moving around a big tank or something like that. But we'll get into specifics of this at the end. But for now, let's go out and let's go test this rifle and let's check out the performance. And then we'll come back and talk about it. So stay tuned for the next segment. All right, let's test our Marauder, our semi-auto, over the crony, see how we make out. Now, I went through a bunch of different pellets. Uh, one of the most accurate, this is not overly pellet picky, but one of the most accurate are these JTS dead centers. These are 18.1 grain pellet. So we'll shoot five shots over the crony. We'll see how we make out. Keep in mind, this does have an adjustable hammer spring, so you could create a little bit more tension on it if you want. You probably get a little bit more velocity, a little less shots. I like where it's shooting right now because it's extremely accurate, and we're gonna demonstrate that later. But anyway, let's do uh, five shots and see how we make out. All right, shot number one, 794. Shot number two, 783. Shot number three, 782. Shot number four, 779 and 778. Now I just filled this, so we started at the top, so we're right on that regulator now, and you can see we're in that high 770s, right around there, that's a really low standard deviation, and that's what helps with uh, really good accuracy when your pellets are getting pushed out at the same velocity. So anyway, 
There's your uh, average feet per second and your uh, foot pounds of energy. So let's uh, move on to the next segment. All right, we're going to test our Marauder, our semi auto here, for some accuracy. And guys, I'll be honest with you, off camera, I could not believe the groups I was getting with this thing. It's pretty amazing. But anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to shoot our usual splatter bursts, our four inch targets. Got these set up. And the pellets we're going to use are these new JTS, the dead centers. This worked really good with these 18 grain pellets. So we're going to try that out. But go ahead and check this out. Check out the distance we're at. This is a little over 40 yards, set up on our PCP range, as you would call it. Anyway, so let's, uh, let's just shoot five shots. We'll just see how well it groups. Not making any promises, but if there's any indication of how this thing shot off camera, I think you guys are in for a pleasant surprise here. I'm telling you, it's unbelievable. So let's, let's just see if I can put my, uh, what do they say? Put your uh, money where your mouth is? All right, five shots. Are you kidding me? I swear they look like they all went through the same hole. This thing is unbelievable. This is what I was saying. Off camera, I was shooting these groups and I was honestly putting one pellet behind the other. And I think we just demonstrated here. It looks like that. Absolutely. This thing is unbelievable. It really is. You gotta love it. Trigger's nice too. But anyway, let's uh, move on to the next segment. All right, let's test the pull weight on our Marauder semi-auto. And uh, there is that, that trigger is fully adjustable. So you can, uh, as far as the first and second stage, you can totally adjust it. So I have this one set pretty much as light as I can get it. So let's just see where we're at. Got our trusty Lyman trigger gauge here. Safety off. Let's see where we're at. One pound, 6.8 ounces. One pound, 6.8 ounces. Yeah, this probably has one of the finer triggers in any semi-auto uh, air rifle that I've tried. It really does. A little bit of a long length of pull, but totally manageable. But the actual pull weight, like I said, is well under two pounds. So that's not that common. Anyway, leave it to Benjamin. All right, let's move on to the next segment. Time for a little planking with our Murata semi-automatic. We're going to use the same pellets, the JTS, the uh, dead centers here. They're 18.1 grain. You guys saw how well they did in our uh, accuracy test. Just amazing. So we're going to go ahead and uh, we're just going to try to shoot down the targets there. I think I got nine or ten rounds in here. And uh, we're just going to go fast. We're just going to go from, uh, actually I'll probably hit the two shotgun shells first. Go ahead and check out our distance. We're at our usual 40 plus yards. This is our plinking range. Go ahead and check that out. As you can see, we've got a ram, a couple uh, steel eggs. We've got uh, shotgun shells and a couple other little goodies up there. So let's just uh, have some fun here. Like I said, I think I'll take the shotgun shells out first. They're in the middle. We'll do that and then we'll work our way to the left and then all the way to the right. So let's just see how well we can do here. All right. There's one, two, three, four, five. What is that? Little piece of PVC there. And finally, this thing is awesome. That's what I got to say. And it's so quiet too. It really is. But anyway, let's go ahead and wrap this up. We'll go to our conclusion and then we'll uh, talk about this. All right, let's move on. Let's wrap this up with our conclusion. Man, how did we do overall? I don't think awesome is a good enough word for this. This was absolutely incredible. It really was. I really like this rifle. But like anything else, let's talk about the negatives. Probably my only negative would be... Mm, the magazine. I don't like the plastic magazine and I don't like the ones that you have to rotate it and put the pellet in backwards and that's what you have to do with these. I mean they work but I would prefer an all metal magazine and one of those that you can just top it off. You know what I'm talking about. It has a tension on it and you just top it off. 
That, I think, if uh, Benjamin could adapt something like that, that would be just fantastic. But that would be my only negative. Other than that, let's get into the positive. This gun, the performance, seriously, was off the chart. It was incredible. The number one thing that I was just absolutely blown away with is the accuracy. The accuracy was incredible. You guys saw, at 40 yards, I literally stacked all the pellets through the same hole. And this has been shooting like this consistently. No matter how I've been shooting it, it's been shooting this way. It's great. So the barrel on it is fantastic. They set that up. The uh, semi-automatic on this is probably one of the smoothest I have ever um, used. It really is. Just the action, it's so fast, you can't even see it. It goes just boom, boom, but it's so smooth. Uh, I like also the trigger on this. This has that Marauder, uh, Marauder trigger. And honestly, as far as semi-automatics go, this is the finest trigger on any semi-automatic I have tried yet, without a doubt. It's not even close, but definitely. Um, fantastic as far as uh, the trigger weight and the adjustment goes on that, which is really nice. I like the fact that this synthetic stock is really heavy duty. It is so solid and it came with a sling mount, which then it gave us the option to attach the front bipod to it without doing anything um, too extravagant, that's for sure. So I like that. I also like the fact this is a 3000 PSI fill. I think that's just terrific. So you don't have to bump over that. So if you have a typical scuba tank or if you have the pump, which we'll get into and talk about that in a second, it makes it so much easy to top it off and fill. It really does when you have that smaller um, fill capacity, which is great. But uh, as far as shot count goes, this thing was incredible. I went ahead and did a whole chart for you. And keep in mind, this is regulated. And that's another reason why I think we're getting such terrific accuracy because when you have a regulated gun, what you're having then is consistent velocity with every shot that's coming out. And when that happens, you get the accuracy. The accuracy goes with it, which is great. So check out the chart here. So we got actual, actually 50 regulated shots. That means five magazines that we went through. And we averaged 785 feet per second. And we got about, um, what was that? About 25 foot-pounds of energy right around there. And that was using our 18.1 grain pellet. So this thing will get up you know, higher velocities, um, especially if you use a lighter pellet and then if you want to adjust the hammer spring. This does have an adjustable hammer spring. It takes a quarter inch wrench right here. You don't have to take anything apart. You turn it in, creates more pressure. You get a little bit more velocity. But uh, honestly, I, I like the balance of where I have this set right here because we got 70 usable shots. So seven magazines and they were completely usable, which is just, I mean, terrific for a 3000 PSI fill. So what I like to do is I like to fill it to the 3000 PSI. You don't even want to go over because it, it, it'll create a kind of a lockup on it if you go over that pressure and then you have to shoot a few shots to get that pressure down. Because what happens is you get over that 3000, it puts... An, exorbitant amount of pressure against the um, hammer spring. So the hammer spring is not quite powerful enough to get your full shots in there. So you got to shoot it a few times, get the air to come down, and then you're fine. You're good to go. And that's typical with any PCP rifle, that's for sure. But typically I like to fill this to 3000 PSI, not anything over, and then shoot it down to 2000 PSI. And you're going to get five, six magazines through that process, which is just fantastic. So this rifle is pretty dynamic okay as far as the pump goes so i've had a little time to be using this pump it works fantastic it really does and now i'm going to give you a let me give you a quick demonstration of actually how to use this pump and how it functions and then i also timed it to show you the speed of how long it takes to go from 2000 psi up to 3000 psi you're going to be surprised so check this out okay real quick i'm just going to show you how this gx pump works i've been absolutely thrilled with it um, what I usually do is we fill this up to about 3,000 PSI, our Marauder here, and then I'll shoot it down to about 2,000 PSI. So I'll fill it from 2,000 to 3,000 each time, and I'm going to show you how quick that is. Real simple, we just pull our cap off here. This is our cap for our foster fitting. You're going to connect your hose. This has a filter in there for moisture, but we're going to go ahead and connect this. Okay, so you're all set. Then we actually have our power cord in here. Then we're going to flip our switch right here, the little red switch. We're going to flip this, to, which is the uh, AC. We flip that over, and you'll hear now the pump has started. So what we do is our bleeder valve is open right now. 
then we're going to hit the on button right here, the start button. So we hit the start button. Now it starts to pump. We tighten that up, and now the gauge is building pressure. So I'm going to show you how long it takes to go from uh, 2,000 psi to 3,000 psi. It doesn't take long. This little guy does a terrific job. And then you can set this. It's got a setting on it where you can set it so it auto shuts off, which is kind of nice. So, and then we've got a nice gauge on here. The gauge shows us um, the current temperature, and it'll tell you if it gets to 75 degree um, Celsius to go ahead and shut it off. It hasn't even got close to that. I think the most it's got is maybe 42 Celsius. Anyway, but you can see how the gauge is working right now. I'll go ahead and speed this process up a little bit for you. Okay, the pump shut off, it's that quick. Um, so then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna hit your bleeder valve right here. You just let the air out, you'll hear that come out. And you disconnect your foster fitting. That's all there is to it. And then depending on the temperature, this pump didn't get very hot. It only got to uh, like 45, um, 45 degrees Celsius, so it didn't warm up at all. But you can let it run for a little while. It lets the fan cool off the interior. And then once that is cooled off, then you're gonna go ahead and flip this switch right here. You're gonna flip this back to the neutral position. And then as long as it's plugged in, there'll still be the fan that's slowly going, that's cooling this. But this thing has been great. And you see how simple and uh, how quick it works. Yeah, you're not messing with any oil, water, nothing. This is just how it works. So it's pretty foolproof. All right then. All right, so you saw our little uh, GX pump in its performance. I'd say that did really, really well. What a combination, actually. The Marauder and this little pump. You just, you, you can't beat that. So, how would I rate the Marauder? You guys know. This thing is, it's a five star every day of the week. Five stars without a doubt. I just absolutely love shooting this gun. This has absolutely moved to the top of one of my absolute favorites, that's for sure. And so that's five stars without doubt. Our little pump, my little under, just under $300 pump, how would I rate that? I'm going to have to give that five stars because it worked perfect. And I just love how compact this is and light compared to some of the others. It really is. And then the fact that you have the um, DC cable so you can hook it to a battery if you're in the field. So fantastic little pump. I'm going to leave you guys a link for that down below in case you guys are interested because I know there's a lot of competition out there with the various types of... Um, pumps out there. So anyway, this one worked out good. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Air Gun Detectives. Don't forget, this is where we take the mystery out of the air gun. Until next time, take care and God bless. Mm -hmm.